my camera is quite soaked. I need to be careful because as soon as the rain stops, the barn owls are likely to come out. All right, we got action. Barn owls flying around. Hey, so I'm back in the same place that I was a few days ago, twice already, trying to see barn owls. Um, hopefully I'll have a bit more luck today. I've come here a bit earlier, so gonna try and make a bit more effort to walk around more, get to know the area a little bit better, and uh, not be super flustered when I get here because the barn owls are already flying around, which is what happened last time. I'm just gonna get my lens out and start walking around looking for these barn owls. Shorted owls here as well, or at least one. At least one of each, one barn owl, one shorted owl. All right, well, I'm all set up, got the camera ready. If you're wondering what that weird thing on top is, it's the mount for my Osmo Pocket. I might try to get some FPV footage from on top of the camera if things get exciting There's quite a lot of other wildlife here. I've seen swans I've seen a pheasant I've seen quite a few other birds Comorants So I've been here for about an hour now and This is just My experience of photographing owls in a nutshell You just don't see anything for hours and then when you're not expecting it. It suddenly all kicks off so you kind of got to be in this weird state where you're not really expecting much, but then you're still ready in case it kicks off. But the great thing about this area, it's so wide, but the owls are so white, you can see them from miles away flying around. So it's important to kind of look around every few minutes and just check that you're not missing anything. It's another plane messing up my audio. When I was here two years ago, and there were three owls hunting at the same time. That was amazing. I mean, I can only hope that that'll happen again, but it might be a once in a lifetime thing. All right, we got action, the short eared owl's out. I've just seen it flying around. I've got a few pictures. I saw it land on the ground um, 50 meters away. So I think it's hunting. This is exciting. That's, they're quite big. This is not really the best time for it, but I really need to change my battery on my camera. So while it's not flying at the moment, I'd better do that quickly. Oh, no, there it goes. Nothing is untrue. Yeah. 
I've lost track of the shorted owl. I'm not sure if it's just gone down uh, on top of prey or something, but I can't see it at the moment. I mean, I really like shorted owls as well, but I'm really here for the barn owls. To me, this is the barn owl place. All right, we got action. Barn owls flying around. I'm heading that way as quickly as I can. I've just seen it about 200 meters away. It's getting harassed by crows. But I think I know roughly which direction it's going to fly, so I'm trying to get there before it does. I've come to the location where I thought it would roughly be flying around. Either it beat me here and it has already gone past, or it's landed somewhere nearby, maybe. They're incredibly striking when you first see them flying around. They fly really low to the ground. They're bright, almost white in color. And they have this sort of fast but graceful wing flap. They're just really cool to watch flying around.
So, I've been photographing the bar now for a while, it's been flying around, I've been getting footage and filming it um, and getting some shots, but now I think the light is just dropping a bit too much and my ISO has gone up to like 25,600 or whatever, so yeah, I think it's time to start packing up and heading home, but I've got a few minutes spare so I'm just watching it in the distance flying around. It's really cool. I'm so glad I came. Yeah, go photograph some barn owls. It's amazing.